Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning uh, October 26, uh, 2014. I have a few titles here. I got one thing I ordered from Target.com and one thing I got ordered from I got from Blue, excuse me, from uh, Best Buy and one the rest I got from uh, Barnes and Noble. Uh, they're having a 30% off sale, 40% off for your member, and I went bought a few things. Now the first thing I ordered from Target.com when it first came out, it was sold out, of course. And I called Target and they said, well, if you want to wait, it's sold out now, but you can wait and, you can, we'll, you know, and then we'll see if we can get more and then, then we'll send it to you. So I said I'd wait and it came through. And I'm talking about the Target exclusive, the Steel Book from Godzilla, which comes with the nice little Godzilla roar. So, <laughs> comes with that, I like that. That's cute. So I held out for that and I got the Steel Book finally from Target. There we go. Now the next thing is a movie that's a sequel actually. Uh, the first movie kind of disappointed me, but the second movie was actually pretty good. And this is of course, I'm talking about Purge, The Purge and Anarchy. And this uh, takes place, they actually show you what happens on the street with this set of people trying to stay alive during Purge night. And it was actually pretty good. Uh, really, I really uh, enjoyed this movie, The Purge and Anarchy. It was really outstanding in my opinion. Okay, and I heard they're making a third part, which I'm looking forward to watching that. Okay, now, like I said, uh, uh, Barnes & Noble is having a 30% off sale until November 3rd, I believe, and plus they, uh, uh, if you remember, it's an extra 10%, so it's 40% off. Okay, so I bought a few titles there, okay, and the first thing I bought is Criterion Western. I love Westerns. It's John Ford Western that I haven't seen. Uh, this is My Darling Clementine, okay, starring Henry Fonda, uh, Victor Mature. And this is about the shootout at the OK Corral, okay, and which I haven't seen this version of it. And I'm looking forward to this. I saw this on Amazon that it came out. So I was always planning on getting it. And then I saw it there. I said I had to pick it up there. Again, 40% off, okay. And I love John Ford and I love Western. So I'm looking forward to watching this. So look for my review of this pretty soon. I'll be watching that pretty soon. Now, the next thing is a movie that actually came on Blu ray. This is a movie that used to come out, come on in the 80s on HBO all the time. And I used to watch it all the time and I really like this is it's kind of a mystery of, about these three murders that takes place in this certain park in Russia okay and this stars William Hurt, Lee Marvin, Brian Dennehy uh, and Joanna Pakala I think that's her name, how you pronounce her name, Murder in Moscow based on a book uh, Gor Murder in Gorky, well it's called, Murder, I think it's, it's called Gorky Park but it's uh, about the murder of these three uh, people in Gorky Park and William Hurt is a inspector who has to figure out you know who who killed these three people and why and Brian Dennehy is an and excuse me Lee Marvin is an American uh, businessman okay and Brian Dennehy is I think one of the par father of one of the kids that been murdered and it's a really good uh, mystery suspense thriller and William Hurt was fantastic in this I love this Gorky Park I used to watch it all the time on HBO now the next movie is a movie uh, uh, starring Robert De Niro and uh, you know I love De Niro and this is a movie by Sergio Leone, and this is a, a classic, in my opinion. I saw this, on, I think, on cable the first time I saw it, and just really enjoyed this. And this is supposed to be the extended director's cut of this. Okay, this is, again, I'm talking about Once Upon a Time in America, starring Rob De Niro, James Woods, I think Tuesday Wild is in this, Treat Williams, uh, Joe Pesci. It's just a really, really good movie about these friends growing up, I think, in the 20s, and, you know, they become basically mobsters and stuff. And it's, uh, let me turn see the back comes with two discs and a bunch of special features and a booklet. It's re a really good movie and this is supposed to be an extended director's cut. Uh, and I actually to watch I'm gonna actually probably watch that and review the gangs you know the director's cut because it's been a while since I've seen this movie but I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm happy to pick this up. Okay. And forty percent off, I can't beat that price. Now this next movie is based on a play and I think this has been filmed, I believe, two or three times. And this is the version that came out in the uh, 1961 stories that Audrey Hepburn, Shirley MacLaine, and James Garner. It's called The Children's Hour, and it was based on the play. And it's really about the story about these two friends, Shirley MacLaine and uh, Audrey Hepburn. They run a, um, uh, a private school for young girls, and basically what happens is their lives gets destroyed when this young girl, this mean little girl, starts spreading a rumor about them. And okay, it's a really, really good drama, and I really loved. Uh, Shirley MacLaine in this. I thought she was outstanding in this. So was Audrey Hepburn. And even the little girls that, that 
played in this were really, I think Veronica Cartwright is one of them, and just just a really, really strong drama, and this movie will just break your heart, that's how good it is, and I really enjoy this, and I think Shirley MacLaine, uh, hold on, no, okay, so, okay, somebody did one Best Supporting Actress, but uh, I think Shirley MacLaine should have won for Best Supporting Actress in this, I think she was that good in this, okay. Now the next movie is a, another drama. A drama, basically, uh, that came out in the. This came out in 1959, uh, and this is about what happens after a nuclear war has started, and or the fallout after a nuclear. And it's about these uh, group of people that, you know, this group of people that come together and in their lives, basically. And, and I remember seeing this on AMC, I think, or Turner Movie Classics, and really enjoying this. Uh, this starts, of course. This is talking about on the beach, starring Gregory Peck, Ava Garner, Fred Astaire. And, Anthony Perkins, let me see the back there, and it's about these people and how their lives are affected after the fallout from this nuclear war has started, and they and it's a really good drama. I really enjoyed this movie, and it's totally worth checking out. I'm actually, look for my review of this because I'm gonna probably revisit this again, and I really really enjoyed this. Uh, great cast and a great story, and just a really outstanding movie. Now this next movie is a movie that I saw on, on Channel 9, local Channel 9, years ago, okay, Orson Welles, uh, uh, Charlton Heston, and uh, Janet Leigh, and it's called A Touch of Evil, and this is, uh, I think, uh, directed by uh, uh, Orson Welles, and this is supposed to, uh, basically about a corrupt sheriff down in Mexico, and uh, Charlton Heston, his wife, is, is, has been kidnapped, and he has to try to find her. And it's a really, really good drama. And this is supposed to be, uh, this is supposed to have three versions of this film on there. Uh, the reconstructed version, uh, the theatrical version, and the preview version. Okay, which should really be interesting to watch. And I may just do one video on this movie. Watch all three movies, all three versions, and then you get my review of them. Maybe do one video on this movie, Touch of Evil. Because I, I remember seeing this and really liking the whole atmosphere and the way it was filmed. And this thing also comes with a 58-page memo that Orson Welles sent to the studio about how he wanted to to make this movie, and I, which I, I'm anxious to actually to watch that. So, like I said, look for that. I'll probably be, dedicate one video to this movie and the whole three different versions and reading the book and stuff. And this is a classic, and anxious to watch that. A touch of Evil. Okay. Now, the last but not least thing I got is another western. I love John Wayne. I love westerns. I love John Ford. Okay, and this is uh, one of the movies in his, uh, I guess, um, th three movies that he made best on, what? one was Fort Apache, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, and then this one, uh, uh, Rio Grande, and starring John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, and it's basically about a commander who's uh, uh, trying to fight Indians, and his son enlists, and then he has to deal with his wife, and it's just a really good, good western. I remember seeing this years ago. Uh, okay, and I really love John Wayne. I love John Ford, so I'm glad to get this. I think the only one that's not on Blu-ray is She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, because Rio uh, Fort Apache is. That's the one with Henry Fonda and John Wayne and Shirley Temple, and this one's on Blu-ray. And But I think She Wore a Yellow Ribbon is not on Blu-ray yet, but I may pick that up anyway, because it's part of a trilogy. And I love John Wayne, love Westerns, and love John Ford, so I got that. Anyway, let me know what you think of those titles. What do you think? Feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this uh, video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.